What is up, my homies? Celtic Genesis, back at it again, uh, playing some Bio Mutant. So we are visiting Gizmo, which is right where we left off last time. However, now I gotta deal with all of these guys. This story is as powerful as you'll let it be. Tribes always scavenging for scrap, and the yard has plenty to go around. But they should have stuck to looting instead of playing around with sprockets. Bomber bonkers busy ram banging the door. This is your chance. Oh, whoa. Um, yes, you can do anything. The sky's the limit. Now, let's take this back to Earth. Wow, you really took that all the way down to the end. In flames. Gotta mark my territory. Let's see. Alright. Stay away from that biohazard. You'll want to wash yourself off for a month. It's a wonder some of these up and downs still work. Yes, they yeah, built machines yeah, better in the past. Yes, these up and downs. It's definitely not an elevator. We call this up and down. Wait, did it just say interact? Ah. 
The spent nuclear fuel, the toxinol dumped in the surf, had detrimental effects on the marine habitats, while the overflowing landfills contaminated the groundwater. Combined, this sent their world hurtling on an inevitable road to ruin. I need to brush up on my Wando, but I have a feeling he believes it was you that caused the bang at the yard. Oh, and he says he knows you. You used to call him Gizmo. He gave you the oil-greased hands when he taught you how to upcycle. Gizmo remembers you as a nice kidling, and he can still sense the warmth of your good heart. But Gizmo says how you experience a memory can be different. You know the story, but sometimes the truth it brings is personal. He'd lie if he claimed it was all good. You changed after your Mooma and Popsy passed, and he understands why you had to leave. The old village being a constant reminder of what happened. Gizmo says he also has re-memories from the long gone, but unlike you, he doesn't think of the past, for it's gone. He understands history made Loopa Loopin a big part of your past, your present, and soon, your future. You still believe there's some good in everyone. You still have hope for tomorrow. He says you should know that what's meant to be will always find a way, but history shouldn't consume you. Gizmo encourages that. You should forgive, but never forget. It'll provide some comfort to your soul and keep the memory of lost loved ones in your heart. Fan that flame! Wait, no! Uh, bright light blinds! It's, it's dangerous! I've got all the cold sick burns you need, Dark. Oh, do you have to insult me over this? I don't have to. But I want to! <laughs> Would like to know if you ever doubt the choices you made on the path that brought you to this point. Would you have been happier going in a different direction? <laughs> Supposes that's all any of us can do. <laughs> Hard to believe the world is actually going to survive. Just seemed impossible till now. I was not dark. Grateful to you for coming back and doing your best to change things. You were the only chance they had. Wonders if you liked working with the Myriad. They always seemed so centered and so seeking. Figures everyone does. They seem unusually dedicated to finding them. But that's not important now. Gizmo says it's taken a long time to bring the past up to the present, and where you go from here is up to you. You need to set the past aside, at least for now. He can't leave the Underyard as he has no protection against the vacuum in the Dead Zone. So you need to salvage scrap to upcycle the Mekton, starting with the old crate outside. You should return when you've retrieved the scrap. There's no time to waste if you want to make the Mekton strong enough to fight the Jumbo Buff. <laughs> It's the part of the land that suffered most from the apocalypse. It's deprived of oxygen, making it next to impossible for anything but creatures that were most contorted by the contamination.
That's gonna be crazy. Does that have flamethrowers though? I feel like the flamethrowers probably won't do much if it's deprived of oxygen because flame is fueled by oxygen. Never know what's hiding out in the dark. They're short of breath and death to this zone. Better take care. He who half breathes, half lives. That's the leftover you're looking for. This is going to be a little shorter. That's all we have time for to for today. Could be danger around any corner down here. Hit that like button. Hit that subscribe button. Comment down below. Watch the comments.